What's happening guys, Sam Adams here, and if you didn't know, the Xbox One S actually came out yesterday in most locations around the world. And uh, whenever I got up yesterday morning to check my YouTube sub box, do all my YouTube things, uh, I actually saw a lot of different videos posted that uh, showed reviews of the console, showed unboxings of the console, and then Digital Foundry actually posted a video that I found extremely interesting, and it's been getting a lot of circulation around the internet that actually showed that the Xbox One S does maintain a higher frame rate under certain circumstances as compared to the original Xbox One, and so this kind of got me thinking, why didn't Microsoft use this as one of their main bullet points at their E3 press conference? You now you've got this small, sleek design, you've got this 4K Ultra HD support, and then I could have easily seen them saying, and a FPS boost. You know, they could have easily said that, because if I understand it correctly, the GPU in the new system is overclocked, which basically means the same thing as an overclocking in a standard computer, meaning that you pretty much get the same performance, but it's just a little bit more. And uh, so I was thinking about that, and I think it it is a great move that they did not market it in that light, and I think it definitely saved the reviews in the long run. Now, when it comes to these frames per second things, what exactly are we talking? How big is the jump? Uh, let's use the Arkham Knight example just for our, you know, convenience. Uh, in the Digital Foundry video, they actually showed that Arkham Knight on Xbox One is locked at 30 frames per second, or at least that's what the goal it is, you know, it's trying to hit 30 frames. And so on the Xbox One, the original, it dips somewhere between 26 and 30 most of the time. On the Xbox One S, it's pretty much maintaining 33, 34 dips down to 28, 29 occasionally, but it pretty much is consistently above that 30 frames per second, or at least hitting it right on the dot. So reviews of the Xbox One S have pretty much been what we expected them to be. A lot of people are saying this is what the Xbox One should have been at launch because the design is very sleek. I've heard that it's smaller than a PlayStation 4. I wouldn't know, not really going to buy one, uh, but it is smaller than the PlayStation 4. It does run quieter. It doesn't have the giant power brick. It is a beautiful design, comes with the better controller. It is ultimately what the Xbox One should have been at launch. But imagine with me if Microsoft had marketed this thing as an Xbox One with a higher frame rate. Imagine if that had been one of their supposed bullet points on the E3 checklist, and people had been purchasing this thing and expecting to uh, get a better experience, and this is obviously if they hadn't have defined what the frame rate jump would have been. Uh, this would have been a very, very different kind of console release, because people would be expecting, say, uh, Arkham Knight, you know, like we were just talking, they would have been expecting at least, I would say, 20 frames per second increase, if not a full upgrade to 60 frames per second like you see on uh, PC. That's what they would be expecting, and I think that's what we can get from Project Scorpio. So ultimately, it was very wise for Microsoft not to go ahead and say this thing does run games at a higher frames per second because then that would have blown people's expectations out of proportion and simply made this console a disappointment for most people. Now, all of that being said, the Xbox One S, for someone that number one doesn't have an Xbox One yet and number two does have a 4K television, does seem to be like a pretty great console to hold you over until Project Scorpio comes out if you are interested in that. And according to what Microsoft said at their E3 press conference, it seems like all these games are going to work on whatever console you're playing it on, whether that be the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, or Project Scorpio. They're all pretty much going to be maintaining the same kind of experience, at least to some degree. There's obviously going to be little differences here and there, but you can still play your games. However, for someone that has a 4K television, or for someone that wants just a couple of more frames per second squeezed out of their favorite titles and doesn't want to invest in a gaming PC, then you might want to check out the Xbox One S because the reviews are saying it is absolutely great, even though it's only three years, you know, late, then it should have been released in 2013 if we're being realistic. So at the end of the day, putting all the frames per second talk, putting all the timing and all that good stuff to the side, congratulations to Xbox and Microsoft for releasing this Xbox One S and finally making the Xbox One what it should have been at launch. This is now, in my opinion, probably one of the best places to play some of the best games of the current generation. Now that being said, there are still exclusives for the Xbox and the PlayStation. That's just kind of one of the choices that you have to make. But as far as the Xbox brand and the Xbox ecosystem goes, this is a great console to have, and like I said, if you don't have an Xbox already, you should probably check one of these out at some point along the line. Is it worth upgrading to if you've got one? Probably not, but it's still a great console if you are interested. So there you guys have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and let me know what you think about the Xbox One S. What do you think about this frame rate stuff? What do you think about the timing of its release? Do you think it's going to be worth upgrading to at some point in the future, if not right now? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And of course, if you happen to be new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other content, I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week, depending on the week. So there's always something new right here on the channel when you drop by to watch some videos. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.